this unit's refrigerant is 410A. All right, so presently it is 64 degrees outside right there, right about on that temperature where if it gets much colder, you're not going to be able to check the, the charge very accurately. Normally you want it to be about 65 degrees or higher, preferably 70 degrees. It's a little bit cooler of a day. We're just checking this one for function right here. Uh, we have a quick charge right here. You can see that. So right there, we have a quick charge cylinder for 410A. And what it does is like a liquid vaporizer. So it's able to uh, actually take the liquid that you have to charge the system in in 410A refrigerant. You have to charge a 410A system with liquid with the bottle upside down in order to mix the refrigerants properly to put it into the system. Okay. Uh, but what this does, it makes sure that the system uh, does not have liquid going to the compressor. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and check this system now. Check the charge on it. Get you a little lower so you can see. The red line, uh, that's liquid. That goes on the high side of the system, All right, which is the small line coming out. All right. Want to make sure all these are snug up top. Make sure you're not going to have any refrigerant coming out. Make sure your handles are closed before you go ahead and connect this into the liquid line. All right, so there we are. We are reading 200, uh, 200 PSIG right there. You can see that on the high side. Now we're going to check the low side. And we're going to put that into the large vapor line. And on the vapor line, we have about 90, 96 or so PSIG. All right. Let me move this back in here if you can see it. There you go. All right. So um, this unit has a TXV in it on the up in the uh, indoor evaporator coil. So that means that we're going to be checking with subcooling. Subcooling is taken on the liquid side. And what you have is you have 207 PSIG. If you follow that over on the pressure temperature chart, it says 72 degrees saturated on the high side. All right, we're going to take this thermocouple off of our multimeter, and we're going to attach it onto the liquid line. And that will give us our temperature decrease in liquid form coming out of the condenser. All right. So we're going to take this right here. As you guys know by now, I prefer uh, small thermocouples attached to the lines. Make sure they're out of the shade or out of the sun. And we'll continue here. So uh, we have 66.2 degrees and we have 73 degrees in a saturated state right now. All right, let's see if you can see that. 